So in this video, we're going to be going over while loops and while loops are used to execute statements over and over and over without having to manually type them. So let me just show you a quick example. And to get started, we're going to create a var of number and assign it the value of one. And then right under, we can do while and inside these parentheses, we're going to write while number is less than or equal to five. We're going to open up a block and write a print line statement. And inside here, we're going to type in line and it's going to have to interpolate the number. And right under, we need to add the number each time this loop goes through. So what's happening here is we have specified a condition for the while loop. And as long as this evaluates to true, this will be printed over and over. And uh, let's just play the program. So we're going to do shift F10 and we are going to wait for it. And as you can see, it has executed five lines of code. That is because each time we go through this line, it increments the number by one. And once this turns into six, this will no longer be applicable and it will stop the loop. Now, it is very important you add a condition that turns this to false eventually, because if we just remove this and we click on play, you will have what we call an infinite loop and this will go on forever and it probably will crash eventually depending on your computer. But uh, as you can see, it will print it for quite a while. And in fact, it might even print it forever. And we can move on straight to the second example. So let's remove all of that and let's close this nasty window. So for our final example, we're going to write var sum and we're going to assign zero to it. Then we're going to write var user inputs and that's going to be of type string and let's just clean that up a bit by using control shift plus l and right under we are going to type some instructions for this one so we're going to do print line and we're going to do instructions and then we're going to click enter so it's going to open a new line and i'm going to show you something that you can do when you use strings you can actually just goes backwards or you can call that an escape. So it's a backwards slash and you just put NEN and that stands for a new line. And inside here, we're going to write type in any whole number to add. Now we're going to click enter again. And down here, we're going to add another escape. So it's going to be backwards slash N. And then we're going to write press. And we have to do this backwards slash because we want to add some quotation marks. And we're going to write zero and backward slash one more time, more quotation marks, and two exits. And the thing is, if you remove this backward slash, it will get confused on where the quotation marks start and where they end. And after we've printed the instructions, we can actually create this very nice program, which is going to add all the digits we insert. So we're going to write do, and it's going to write print, enter a number, and then we need to get the user input. So it's going to be user input equals read line, which should never be null. And it's going to be sum plus equals user input to int. So this is just going to continuously add whatever input we put into to the sum. And it's going to add the sum to the next user input and so on. Every time we enter a number, it's going to just continuously add it. And the next part of this program is going to be the while. So this is while user input is not equal to zero, this will continue to work. And in case we enter zero, we are going to execute the next line, which is going to be print line. And it's going to take the total and we are going to interpolate the sum. So as you can see, we get a list of instructions, it will tell us to enter a number over and over and over until we type in zero. And once we type in zero, it will exit out of this block and it will give us the total sum. One thing that's very important to note is that the do block will always execute this statement at least once. So whatever you put inside will be executed at least once. And if this evaluates to false, it will have executed once and it will exit. But let's click on play to see what the program actually does. And inside here, we'll do 10, we'll do 55, We'll write 900, we'll write negative 99, and then we can do 17, and we will type in zero to finish this program. And it will tell you the total of all of these is going to equal 883. And that is essentially the basic use of a while loop or a do while loop. And they are very, very efficient, and it's nice to have them in these programming languages because they save you a lot of time. 
But anyways, that is all I wanted to go over in this video. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.